Massive shout outs to Blazing Boost for sponsoring today's video. If you guys are struggling to get anything Destiny 2 related, these guys will help you out. There's no account sharing so you won't get banned. Not only that, they'll help you with trials, iron banner, raids. Plus, they offer a Sherpa experience with pros. Not only that, they do have a trust pilot with 5 star reviews. And if you guys use save 5 at checkout, you will get a 5% discount. Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. Today I'm bringing probably one of your most requested videos ever. Now, I uploaded a video yesterday about the Malfeasance and that thing has blown up. I don't know what happened yesterday. Everybody has been coming to the channel talking about that video. I've had tweets, everything. So I do really appreciate the support. I asked for 100 likes and I think we've got 1.5k in less than 24 hours. So I just want to say thank you so much and if you are new let me know down in the comment section below but I did say if you guys smash that video I'll make a build video with the Malfeasance and you guys were suggesting some things and I've been trying them out non-stop and I have come up with this build and to be fair it does make it pretty much insane now a lot of people are moaning at me because I've shown that the Malfeasance is good but you guys need to try this build out, that's all I'm saying. And I'm going to shut up rambling, thank you for the support, and let's jump straight into the build. So, for the build we are using Night Stoker. Now, this is, to be fair, it's probably a high tier build. You can use it for sort of Grandmasters, that sort of thing, if you really wanted to. Obviously there's going to be better builds out there for them, but this build is just super fun and say it's a primary weapon and it's built around it it's insane and not only that the Malfeasance is probably one of the nicest guns to use which is what I said yesterday but let's start with today's video and jump into it so you guys know me I usually run gambler's dodge but trust me use marksman dodge you're going to get that automatic reload so you're never going to have to reload pretty much you're going to have 40 bullets in the Malfeasance when you dodge obviously you get your 20 dodge 20 again and you are going to be doing a lot of DPS. Jump, totally your preference. Snare bomb. And I would recommend Vortex Grenade. This is sort of like a grenade build with the Malfeasance. And it's a high damage build. And I'll show you exactly what you need. Aspects. Now, because we are taking it into sort of end tier. Definitely make dodging, make your invisible vanishing step. Put that on. It's crucial. It's going to save you so much. Next, we do have Trapper's Ambush. Put this one on, your smoke bomb, make nearby allies invisible, it's going to help save you again. Some of these are just to save you. Fragments, we have Echo of Leeching, melee final blows start health regeneration for you and nearby allies. Not only that, you get a bonus 10 resilience, so that is why I've put it on. Next we do have Echo of Starvation, picking up over power ground Devour. Now Devour, not that many people use this one, but it has been really good. Feast on the energy of your defeated foes. Final blows restore you to full health. Grant grenade, energy and extend devour. So pretty much we're getting a health back. Now we do lose 10 recovery but because we're getting devour it sort of counters out anyway. And then the final one. Echo of remnants. Your lingering grenade sort of lasts longer. Increased duration for your grenades. This is crucial. It's going to do a lot of damage especially while you're popping off that malfeasance. Now, for the weapons, the only gun we really need is a Malfeasance. Now, I've lobbed on the Epicurean and the Taipan because they're pretty good damage weapons all round. That's Void, Double Void, and to be honest, most things are Void in this Lost Sector, so that's why we're running that. But you can use anything, a Sword, the Storm Chaser. The only weapon that matters for the build is the Malfeasance. Now, going on to the Artifact, I believe we only have a couple off here. To be honest, we only have firmer shock plating and focusing strike, and obviously the rest doesn't really matter. Obviously, if we're going into it though, you can change this build because I know a lot of people moan saying, "Oh, what if there's unstoppable? What if there's anti-barrier?" Then you can change this, and I'll show you exactly where to change this for the higher tier end game activities. Now let's move on to the stats. Stats wise, you are going to want 100 resilience. Now recovery. To be honest, the, my build. Is shocking 
don't sort of copy this. What you're going for is 100 resilience, a decent recovery, at least five if you can, and good discipline so we can get that grenade back even quicker and do more damage. Now, my lucky pants are shit. They're not made for this build. And to be honest, I've been doing that many builds recently, I've run out of materials, so you're going to have to just take my word for it. This build will be good when you get 100 resilience and discipline up. Now, starting off with a helmet, I just want to say all this is synergized. I've spent so long making this build, so hopefully guys do leave a like on today's video. Now, we are going to change that. I don't know why we've got more ability on that. We're putting a discipline mod, kinetic siphon. Rapid Kinetic Final Blows creates an orb of power. This is crucial. Make sure you have this on. And then we do have Elemental Ordinance. Defeating a combatant with a grenade spawns an Elemental Well that matches your subclass type energy. Now, this is crucial. And we're going to be getting his grenade back pretty quick. So we'll be able to get these wells coming really fast. Moving on to the arms. We do have a Resilience mod. Focusing Strike. Grants class ability energy when you cause damage with a melee attack. And then, obviously, we've got causing damage with a grenade, reduces your melee cooldown. Now, this is where you can change it, guys. I've made this build so nobody can complain, oh, I can't use anti-barrier, I can't use overload. You can. All you have to do is simply swap focusing strike to whatever you need. So if you need anti-barrier, put that on. Obviously, with this build, you'll never need unstoppable because the Malfeasance does actually have unstoppable built into it, which is what they put into the game. And that's why it's so strong at the minute for these lost sectors. So that is that, and then we do have seeking wells, basically them wells will just come towards you so you're not getting into like dangerous positions. Moving on to the chest piece, what we do have is resilience mod, thermoshock plating, so we're just sort of taking more damage, and then we do have increase uh, concussive dampener, incoming area effect damage from combatants. Then we do have taking charge, this is crucial because we are going to be getting those orbs of power from obviously our helmet with kinetic siphon and then we are going to in fact turn it into high energy fire while charged with light gain a bonus to weapon damage each defeat a combatant consumes one stack this thing is insane with the malfeasance not only that i'm going to show you this exotic and then we do have absolution reduces all cooldown each time you pick up an orb and then the exotic we are running for this build you guys absolutely spammed me yesterday saying you need to use this with it I tried it out and holy shit, it is pretty much, it makes it so much better, it's crucial. The fucking text is that long, it doesn't fit on the screen as well. But I'll read it out to you. When you ready a fully loaded hand cannon that deals kinetic damage or a damage type that matches your subclass energy, each hit from that hand cannon increases the damage to the next shot for a short time. Hand cannons ready faster, more accurate immediately after swapping to them, provides a small benefit to the airborne effectiveness. Start of a hand cannon while the buff is active. Pretty much put this on and the Malfeasance is going to do so much more damage. Then what we do have is for the final one, we have Melee Wellmaker. So we do get obviously more wells if we use our Melee. Outreach reduces Melee cooldown when using your class ability. And we're going to stick another Discipline mod on that. So eventually we've nearly got that double. We've got 86 Discipline, 100 Resilience. Our recovery is shit, but because we've got invis, we will get away with using this. Now, that is a build. I'm going to literally put some gameplay on of it because it's absolutely insane. Hopefully, guys, try this out. Thank you for the support. I know I keep saying it and you're probably thinking, shut the fuck up and get on with the video. But honestly, thank you. And I'll leave you the gameplay now.
Roll right over them and don't look back. My father and I are... 